Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah McNeil, the Clinic Director at Chiropractic Central. It was great to have you in our office today and I trust that you had a wonderful experience. We have a great team. You would have learned a lot today about your health and chiropractic and how the two relate. So today's video is uh, looking at recapping some of the things that you went through today and also to best set you up so you can expect, uh, so that you know what to expect for your next appointment at your report of findings. As with most people, when we get a lot of information, we can get really, you know, interested and intrigued, but also maybe a little bit overwhelmed. And also, if you're like most people, typically like 90% of that information ends up, you know, getting lost. So I would love to just quickly recap some of the things we went through with you today. One being that our nervous system is that master system and relates to so many of these different health conditions that can be occurring. And also that our spine is that suit of armor that it protects that nervous system as it goes to every cell, tissue, organ in the body. So what you would have learned today is how it's so important to have a healthy spine as that relates to then a healthy nervous system as that's doing all that communicating through the body. Now, during today's appointment, the doctor would have gone through with you asking in terms of your health concerns and in that getting an indication of looking for any sort of nerve interference which is then for the detection of subluxation. Now this term may be too new to you as well. Subluxation is when we have the vertebra or the bones of the spine get jarred out of alignment. When this happens, it then puts pressure and twisting on the soft tissue, creates an inflammation in the body, and causes an irritation to those nerves. Again, as those nerves then go to all those different areas in the body, if subluxation is left undetected and uncorrected over time, Leads can then lead to then symptoms. So typically symptoms are at the end of the problem, not at the beginning. So we would have done a thorough evaluation for the detection of any nerve interference, and then this would then indicate to us exactly what's going on. And we'll then be able to put together a full report of findings, which is what we're gonna go through at your next visit. In the report of findings, we'll then be able to let you know if we have detected subluxation, if it's the cause of your concerns, and also if we're able to do correction. If we are, at that stage, we can then, uh, would be happy to accept your case and look at helping you take your health to the next level. If that's the case, we also go through the best recommendations with you so that you can look at getting the best results so that we get the fastest results for you long-term. Now, with the report of findings, uh, we do recommend that if there's anyone who helps you make any health-related decisions, please bring them along to that report. We would love to meet them and we'd love to answer any questions that they have as well and also have them along to support you while we're answering and going through these results. So we really look forward to seeing you for that next visit. Fantastic, you have a great day and we'll see you soon.